Hi, I'm going to show you how to do data transfer to and from Rackham using SCP. There are multiple ways to transfer data to and from Rackham. Um, here we're going to use SCP, which means secure copy protocol. Um, let's take a look at the step. We need to at the steps we need to start a terminal, copy some files, and they've asked if your password. Well, so let's go through it and see if it works. Start a terminal on your local computer. Let's do that. I have one here. Clear. There, I have a terminal. In the terminal, copy files using SCP to connect to Rackham. It's SCP from 2, where from is the files you want to copy and 2 is the destination. This is quite a shorthand notation. This is how you copy a file from your local computer to Rackham. Let's do that. So it's SCP, local file, username, blah, 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 Archer. I can do that. I'm going to put it at the right. There. And this is where I am now. And we're going to do that. For Of course, I need, a, I need a file to copy. So there we have. Let's create a file. I call it a file to copy. There. That's all I need. There's now a file called file to copy. If I do ls, we can see it here. This is on my local computer. There's no Rackham here at all. This is my local computer. And now I'm going to copy it to Rackham. So that's SCP, local file name, that's file to copy. Username, that's for me, that is, that is um, here now. So for me, that's Richel at rackham.upmax.uu.se colon slash home slash reshell and this will put it into the home folder I have on Rackham. So let's do that. I need to type in a password. Let's do that. There's no weird things as two-factor authentication or so. Um, you can't see my password as I type. This is part of security. Uh, and there the file is copied. So, I have just copied the file, but you have not seen it yet. So let's go um, to Rackham to see if it's there. And then we'll copy back to my home folder. We see in my home folder, there is, these are my files. I'm going to, on Rackham, I'm going to create a file and copy it back to my local computer. So first I'm going to log into Rackham, SSH, Richel, at rackham.upmax, up max.uu.se I need to type in my password without two-factor authentication. Now I'm on Rackham. Let's do ls to see if I have indeed copied that file. Yes, here it's file to copy. I'm going to create a file that's called uh, file to be file from Rackham. Let's do that. So I created a file now that's called file from Rackham. And I'm going to copy it from Rackham to my local computer. I don't do this on Rackham. I'm going to do the copy it. the other way around, uh, like here. So let's do that. So the file is called file from Rackham, file from Rackham. So now I'm going to copy it the other way around. So that's this. I'm just going to copy paste it here and I'm going to fill in the things. S copy reshell at rackham.upmax.e slash home slash reshell. I guess this was file from Rackham. File from Rackham. That is the file name. And I need to copy it somewhere. I use a dot to say I want to copy it here. Type in password. Now it's copied, we don't see it, but if I do ls, we see it here. So that means I've just copied the file from Rackham to my local computer. And sure, I gave my upmax password all the time. There was no question for two-factor authentication at all. So this means I've just shown you how to transfer data to and from Rackham using SCP. Uh, with that, I conclude this video. I wish you a very good day. Bye.